Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Streamio on Windows 10 or 11. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so if you haven't done so already, we need to go ahead and download Streamio. So go to streamio.com and then click on Windows Download. I will leave a link in the description below how to download and install it on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up Streamio. So once you open up Streamio, it will say to log in or sign up. So go ahead and either sign up with email or you can continue with Facebook. So I've already got an account, so I'm just going to quickly log in here. All right, so once you've signed up and logged in, you're going to come to an interface that looks like this. So Streamio is basically a free media center app that lets you discover, organize, and watch video content from different sources all in one place. With a super clean interface and powerful features allows users to keep track of movies, TV shows, web channels and more through a library system and calendar view. By installing official add-ons here, like YouTube or TED Talks, users can stream content legally and conveniently. Conveniently, it is available on multiple platforms and is perfect for anyone looking to organize or centralize their viewing experience. So now let's go through some of these features. So on the left, we've got different tabs here and so this is on the home page, so we can see movies, series, movies featured, series featured, channels, etc. We can even, on the top here, we can search for a particular movie or series. Now if we scroll down here, if we go to discover, we can discover new movies or TV shows. We can also filter by movie series channels and by popular new, etc. Now if we click onto our library, you can import things from... Facebook, find interesting stuff from Discovery, import your media library from Tract, import movies or shows you have on your local disk. Then we've got Calendar. So the Calendar feature inside Streamio is a handy tool that helps you stay up to date with your favorite shows and upcoming releases. Once you add movies or TV series into this library, the Calendar automatically tracks their release dates and displays them in a simple timeline view. This makes it easy to see what's coming out soon so you never miss a new episode or premiere. It's especially useful for keeping tabs on multiple shows at once, I've found, and all organized in one place without needing to check different streaming platforms. So add-ons in streaming are what power the app's ability to stream and display content. They work like plugins that connect Streamio to different sources, such as YouTube, Vimeo, and other web platforms with just a few clicks. You can install official add-ons to access a variety of legal and freely available content each add-on brings its own catalog of videos, so the more you install, the more content becomes available in your Streamio library. This flexible system makes it easy to customize your streaming experience based on what you like to watch. And if there's a particular add-on, you can go ahead and click on the search add-on part on the top right. We've got community add-ons and we've got my add-ons. So if you click on my add-ons, you can see all the add-ons that you've currently got. Now if we head over to the settings section here, We've got a few different tabs. We've got player, general, streaming, and shortcut. So you can play around all these different settings. So you can see I'm logged in here. If I scroll down, you can change the UI language to whatever. And they've got a few shortcut keys here. If we go to player, if we turn on, so we've got player subtitles. Default subtitle language is set to English. So you can change that. You can change the subtitle size, background, and the color as well. We've also got controls, arrow key, seek time, and you've got autoplay, autoplay next episode. We could toggle that on and off and show notification on and off as well. So you can have a play around of all that stuff here. Streaming, we can change the streaming, caching from two to five to 10 gig, catching drive, and all that stuff. And you've even got all your shortcut buttons here. Now, if we go back, so say if I want to play any one of these movies, a TV series, I'm just going to simply click onto it. So if I want to want to watch a black bag, I'm going to click onto it and then it will show you a little preview on the right. From here, we can go click on show. And then it will say all the places where you can buy or rent it if you don't have the add on. So if you want to view this movie, you need to buy or rent it from YouTube, Google Play Movies, Amazon Video, or Apple TV. I've got Amazon Video, so I'm gonna need to install my Amazon add-on.